Hello again, Dr. Hart here. Well, now we're moving into the last phase of learning about planning and making decisions. Decision making is going to be our focus for this week's work, uh, and then that's going to be the bridge into organizing. During this week, we'll conclude, conclude learning about planning by looking at the process of decision making. In the process of planning, many alternatives may arise for the manager to consider. For instance, the manager might be charged by upper management to increase sales for his or her organization. Top management has directed the sales manager to increase sales for the coming year. How can the manager do this? Well, there are many alternatives. They can increase the number of salespeople. They can increase the incentives or change the incentives and pay for salespeople so that they sell more. They can emphasize the sale of certain products and services that seem to have a better reception in the marketplace. They can reduce the number of salespeople but increase the size of their territory. These are just a few of the actions the manager might take. Now the question is, which steps will the manager take and which steps will the manager select? Managers can rarely do all of the things that they might do to reach a goal, and some of the choices may even contradict each other. So, the manager must decide. This is when the manager must practice good decision making. The basic steps of decision making are list the alternatives, evaluate the alternatives, choose the best alternative or alternatives, and implement the best alternatives. And this week we'll discuss these, these steps and more to understand more about how managers make decisions.